take a seat, take some time to wind down because I'm going to go through the pictures I did for Inktober. I'm going to explain the whole story and my the stories behind it and let's get into the video. So before we get into it, I just wanted to say thanks for watching my series and if you haven't checked it out yet, I have compilation videos to recap it and everything so you can get all on track because I don't want to spoil it for any of you guys. Okay. So now we can get into the video. This is just the title page explaining what it is. And yes, the iconic list page. I have it all filled out and everything. There's something nice about it all being all filled out. I don't know. It's just me. But yeah, uh, I'm just going to explain a little bit about what these mean. So as you can see, there's a key here. And the key tells you which, which style of coloring the page has, like what you're going to expect. So for example, the black line means that there's no color, it's black and white. And then silver means it's like 50-50 or there's a little bit of color in there. And then gold is when I brought out the paints and went full color. So yeah. The gold was supposed to be like a special occasion thing, but I ended up having a lot of fun with that, so I kind of got carried away. That's why there's so much gold. Looking at this now, I'd say it's like 50-50, black and white in color, which I know it's not very traditional for Inktober, but it went with the story, so yeah. And then I just have this little tab, so... I actually didn't do this till the end of Inktober, but I have this little tab so that I can flip from the list and the drawings. So the first prompt is dream. So when I did this, I did not know about who was going to be the protagonist yet. I thought it was going to be the bird. Like I thought it was going to be about the bird going on an adventure, but as you'll soon see, that is not the case at all. So yeah, I was trying to introduce the main character, this bird and his family. So yeah, he's just uh, sleeping and the mom's giving him a little goodnight kiss. It's, it's a very cute and wholesome picture. And then we have day two where the actual main character is introduced. So basically the prompt was spiders, and the first thing I could think of was a bunch of spiders woke him up. And the cat, which is their actual main character, is hunting him down and going to take out the spiders for him, which is really nice. And then I added this lightning bolt to show that it's raining, but it doesn't really look like it's raining. I don't know. It may or may not be raining. It just added more uh, depth. So now we have day three, path. So basically, the cat took care of the spiders, woke them up, and was very hungry. So the cat's like, hey, I did this for you. Do you mind if I have some tuna? And the bird's like, sure. So the cat leads the way to the kitchen. So it's a path to the kitchen. This is actually one of the best drawings in the book just because of how detailed the actual kitchen is. At least in my opinion. If you guys have a favorite, feel free to mention it in the comments. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. So yeah, I was just enjoying some tuna. And the mom woke up and wanted to see what was going on. And since the prompt was Dodge, and this is a kid, uh, he just, he got startled and didn't want his mom to know about the cat. 
So they just hid in the cupboard. So he's dodging his mom. So that's what this picture is supposed to be. So yeah, that's day four. And then day five is kind of the last of the streak of black and white. So like this is like the last picture that's black and white because on day six, I brought out my paints and it, uh, yeah, it got really colorful from here, but this was like the most, the most in a row, like five black and white in a row. So basically the way this ties into the story is he basically, after going in the kitchen, he went back to bed and is dreaming about finding a cave. And it's supposed to be a map leading to the cave. And he's dreaming about the cat because the cat's his new best friend. Spoilers, the cat leaves. I actually did not uh, <laughs> capture his expression on his face when the cat left. Just out of nowhere. Yeah. He never saw the cat again, but it was still sweet what the cat did for him. But yeah, he's dreaming about him and the cat finding a cave. And this cave is a crystal cave with bats. Or at least I tried to make it a crystal cave. This is day six golden. So that was the reason why I did a crystal cave because it's supposed to be as precious as gold. Like it sparkles like gold. Now I don't know if that really comes across, but that's what I thought of when I thought of gold. So it, I mean, I kind of think it looks like a crystal cave, but... Some people also think it looks like an ice cave, which it kind of does, but I don't know. This is the first one, like I said, that I did with paints. And I was really proud of it when I did it. And then the goodbye of the bird. No, no, yeah, the goodbye of the bird. So the goodbye of the bird and the goodbye of the cat. So basically, um, this is the next morning, and the cat just kind of left. And you can't see his face, but you can tell the bird is a little sad about it. So yeah, day seven drip is supposed to be the coffee dripping. But yeah, this is the point in the story where it's almost like another chapter. So basically, you saw the moments with the bird. And so now they're going to move on to a different family. And that family is... The Toads! Yes, The Toads. The Toads, which I don't actually have the original copy of. Yeah. I think you can tell this is a printout. But I didn't do it digitally. Basically, I did it and... I don't know if I can, no, it's stuck on there really well, but there actually is a picture underneath here. It's not just a printout. But yeah, this is the toads, and they're supposed to be sitting by a pool. And so the cat has met the toad's daughter, and it's really bonding, but the, the this little guy, he's like, what, a cat? I'm going to get eaten, because, you know, he's a tadpole, so he's a little fish. So yeah, day eight is Toad, so that's why I made this Toad family sitting by the pool. And it actually ties very well for the next one. Which the next one is Bounce. Now this, this has to be one of the best pictures in the book. I spent a long time on this one, like, I don't know, four hours, something crazy? Four or five, I don't know. It was too much, too much. But yeah. This is a really good one. Bounce. And I remember for the shorts, I actually posted, like you can see it on the channel, but I actually posted this with Diamonds by Rihanna. And I don't know, it just paired so well. So yeah. This is definitely a good one. Bounce. And then the story, they're bouncing into the pool. 
So we're just like jumping into the pool. So yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but I used markers on this. So that's why I have the printout on this page because it bled through. And I think I mentioned that in the in the short form video too, but yeah, it bled through. Which I don't know, I kind of like the printout because it has almost like a cool undertone and this paper is more uh, warmer. So it's just interesting. And I actually went back and forth on this one a lot when I did it. Like I was going to have it be in the middle of the day, like when the, sh when the sun was shining really bright. But when I ended up doing the shading and the shadows, it didn't look right. So then I was going to make it into a sunset. But again, the shadows didn't look right. So I decided it's more of a, it's like right after sunset. Like it's not night yet, but it's also not sunset. So it's like the sun is like right here and it's just about to go down, like just barely. And I don't know, it really fits it well. Now I just like to take a moment to pause because we've been kind of going pretty quick here and say thank you. Thanks for watching. But I'm not done yet. Because this is only day nine. And I'm going to go through uh, all the way to the 31st. And so if you don't want to watch me talk the whole time and just ramble on about nothing there is a flip through put to music that you can check out that i will post either later today or tomorrow something like that on to the next one Ooh, the drama this is where it gets good not good good because it's not the rising action it's just like a little little side plot so remember the cat was like helping the bird family? So I had this idea that he would also be helping the toads. So it's kind of a little comic I have made. And it's really cool. I'll show you. So uh, for a little context, it is fortune. So the cat can tell the future. The cat giving a side eye. What is it? You know what it is. Hmm. I got you. I got you. <laughs> wow. So yeah. The cat realized that she fell into the pool and basically saved her. So that's day 10. So yeah, after what happened, the cat decided that, to just walk away. He, he couldn't, uh, he couldn't handle it. Plus, that's what it was written in the prompts, because after fortune was wander. So, that's why, the real reason why. Because I couldn't, I, I had to do the prompts. This has to be the simplest drawing in the whole book. So it's just this, this little cat walking off into the distance and yeah ready to see what the future holds which begins the next chapter where the cat is basically on his own and just uh yeah on his own running free living life so basically, this is kind of random. I decided to go a little bit off the story and do something a little uh, kind of different for spicy. So for spicy, I did peppers. And it's almost like this pepper kind of spicy land. I don't know. It's given uh, Raymond Legend vibes for some reason. I don't know. Do you play that game? Raymond Legends? can't remember if it was Raymond Legends or if it was Raymond Legends 2, but they had this 
like world map where it was a bunch of like peppers and you could run fast so I mean that's not what I was thinking of when I was doing this but looking at it now it does kind of give off Raymond Legends vibes comment down below if you play that game it's a fun game Ooh, the next chapter so basically he's wandering on his own and he gets picked up by an eagle and the eagle is taking him to the castle. Now he doesn't know why the eagle is taking him to the castle, but the next the next drawings will explain a lot. So yeah, if you've been watching the shorts, you know what happens. Let me know, did you guys follow through with the shorts or not? Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Oh well, so yeah. Day 13 and day 14 go together really nicely, or at least in my story. So basically, um, the eagle is taking him to the castle. Uh, this is a real castle in Germany. And I don't actually know that much about this castle. I probably should have did more research. But this is a castle from Germany, and I believe the family that lives there or lived in it is the Hohenzollerns. So yeah, that, that could be wrong, I don't know. But I know that's, uh, that's the name of the castle, Hohenzollern Castle. And it looks just like this, where it's on a hill, really high, and it's a really beautiful castle. So yeah, just the exterior is based on that castle. The interior is all um, my imagination, pen to paper, whatever happens. <laughs> yeah, and it's not all realistic because I don't do that many references. So, But I actually did do a reference for this, so that's part of the reason why it looks so good and detailed. But yeah. The castle was a great one, and I believe I did music to that, too, and Spicy. Like, I did some Halloween music to Spicy, and then for this, I did something Rule the World. I don't know, it's a good song, and it really, really fit. It really fit the castle really well. I don't know, it was trending around the time I posted it. It was probably not trending as much now, since it was, like, well, like a couple weeks ago, but everybody wants to rule the world. Yeah, I was trying to sing it. <laughs> it's a good song, though. Really like that song. Even before uh, it was trending, I would listen to it all the time. So on to the next one. Dagger. So yeah, this is where I really started being behind, like this moment right here, like if you did follow through with the shorts, you know, I was posting every day and then something happened where I uh, couldn't post as often, like in the end I made it work and did all the prompts. So yeah, day 15 is dagger. and to be different, and to not have knives on the channel, <laughs> um, I did Dagger Moth, which in the video, I actually did some research on Dagger Moth, and in the video, um, I said that it's highly poisonous. That may or may not be true. It, it is definitely poisonous, and if you touch the spines, you will get a really big rash. And it would itch a lot, but like when you say highly poisonous, you think of like those deadly spiders and stuff. It's not deadly poisonous, but it is it, it is really uh, itchy and stuff. So you don't want to touch it by any chance. Now the moth, I don't think is as poisonous as the caterpillar. 
I don't know, the dagger moth is really cute. So yeah, I just did a search right here. And this is what they look like. I'd say I did a pretty good job uh, making it look like the original thing. The only thing is the design on the wing isn't the most accurate, but it still looks pretty good. Um, it says that they can be found east of the Rocky Mountains in North America. And they're also found in woodlands and forests. So if, if you're in the woods, east of the Rocky Mountains, you might want to look out for these. You know, like if you're camping or something. In the story, this is supposed to be a butterfly garden. And he's reading about the moth, so that's where that ties in. It was harder fitting this into the story, but I don't know. I still like it. Moving on! Ooh, uh, angel and demon. So now he's actually in the castle. He made it inside. So yeah, he's in the castle. And I don't know, for this one, I got pretty inspired by the other creators of Inktober. Because since Angel and Demon went together, a lot of the other creators um, that I was following along with at the time were doing Angel and Demon together in one drawing. So I thought that was a good idea, so I did that too. And yeah, they're basically trying to tell him something. Kind of like in those cartoons, like, I don't know if I can think of one. I know Hercules, Hercules from Disney, it's an old cartoon, I want to say that might have it. And Emperor's New Groove might have it too, from Disney. But there's this scene where they have, um, where they have, like, the angel and the devil. The angel's, like, uh, making sure, basically his conscience and the devil is his, like the opposite, like his rebellious side. On to the next one, Saddle. So he basically meets humans because there are humans in this world. <laughs> it's like all these different animals and then out of nowhere, humans. <laughs> so yeah, there are actually humans in this world. So these are supposed to be, I don't know, I tried to make them adults, but they're giving a teenager. Looks like te teenagers, but they're basically there to clean the castle. And, and they notice the cat and decide to call uh, the local animal shelter to pick him up. Now, I know this doesn't make much sense because they're in uh, modern day clothes things like that but this is kind of I was kind of creating my own world here I don't know if you can tell because not everything is proportioned realistically and stuff so yeah day 18 saddle and it looks like I actually forgot to ink that so one second so I'm just gonna do that now Okay, uh, I kind of messed up on these, but nothing I can do about it now. That's the only hard part about ink. Let's just make it a little less obvious. Just a little. Okay. So yeah. Day 18 is saddle. And there's no actual saddle in this picture. But instead, the saddle is on the next prompt, which is plump. So basically, this is like both of the prompts, plump and saddle, and this one's like none of the prompts, which is fine. But yeah, that's just what I decided to go with when I made that. And I think it's, yeah, I think it works. So yeah, this one is another painting I did. And yeah. So they basically called the local animal shelter 
And this is the local animal shelter I'm picking up. Like, again, this is kind of this imaginary world. So, of course, the person picking him up is a knight in shining armor. I don't know. It made sense with a horse. I don't know. It doesn't really make much sense. Modern day clothes, knight in shining armor, but... Yeah. Oh, yeah, and Plump, the horse, it's kind of a little chubby. It's very disproportionate. Like, if you look at it and you look at a person riding a real horse... It's not the same, but that's kind of intended to make him look a little plumpier. But yeah, day 18 and 19. If you made it to this part of the video, I just wanted to say thank you so much. You're helping my watch time. All right, uh, next page. Ooh, Frost, this one's good. This is another painting. This has to be one of my favorite ones, which is kind of ironic because it's kind of Christmas. It's not really Halloween. I know it's Inktober, but yeah, this has to be one of my favorite ones because of the way the colors go together and stuff. And I also like Christmas a lot. Like Christmas and the holidays, that the other holidays like Hanukkah and... Kwanzaa and all those holidays. Really great. So yeah, this is kind of like uh, the winter season. Okay. On to the next one. So this is basically the rising action. And now we're going to make it to the climax. The climax. The turning point. He's stuck in the animal shelter. I'm back. I told myself I wasn't going to get a drink because I didn't want it to mess with the audio. But I'm just over here really thirsty, so I have to. I have to cave. Day 21, and now on to day 22. Scratchy. So basically, this is supposed to be a little scratch area, and he's just spending his days... On to the next one. Ooh, Celestial. So basically what I decided to do for Celestial is it's a witch getting the cat. Since it's like a black cat, I thought it would be kind of cool. And of course Celestial could be wrong, but when I think of Celestial, I think of witches, warlocks, wizards, that kind of thing of a witch. And this is just the person saying, oh, come this way, cat room, dog room. It's sweet. Oh yeah, and this one, <laughs> this page, I love this page so much it ripped out, but that's okay. Now it just sits in the book. Day 24, shallow. This has to be one of the most, uh, far-fetched of the proms, I have to say, but, like, when I first saw that prompt, the first thing I could think of was Lady Kaga and Bradley Cooper, Shallow, in the sha shallow, yeah, that one, yeah, but I didn't really want to draw them, so I tried to incorporate it in the story. So yeah, it's supposed to be they're on shallow ground and you basically, the cat met him. Magic happened because she really likes the cat and the cat really likes him. I don't know. If you own cats, you know. It's a very special bond between a human and a cat. I don't know. I don't know if you can tell. I'm definitely a cat person. So. Yeah. And on to the last two of the story. So I know this isn't 30 days worth of prompts for the story. But. 
but I didn't really feel like there was that much more I could do because um, he has this new home and it's this happy ending and the rest of the prompts all seemed really crazy and wild and I didn't really want to add more to an already good ending. Plus I just didn't want to end it on fire. So yeah, this is the end. The end of the story. So dangerous, cars are dangerous. And then remove, it's supposed to be him getting out of the car. He's being removed from the car. That was another one that was kind of strange. And I just wanted to say thanks for watching. But there are some extra drawings because I'm not going to surrender to Inktober. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to do it without doing all 31 pictures. So this is the end of the story. Stay tuned for the last couple pictures. The end. For now. There's only a couple pictures. So basically, um, since I ended the story, I didn't really want another story in there. So I just kind of played around with the words. And I have to say, out of the whole book, this has to be my least favorite picture. It's not very pleasant to look at. And I did spend a pretty good amount of time on it. But yeah, it's just not that pleasant to look at. Very pleasing to the eye. But yeah, this is supposed to be... Now I could be getting this wrong, but I think it's in the right order. So this is Beast, Sparkle, Massive, and Rush. And then... Round of applause for... The last one. Let me do a good drum roll. Happy Halloween, the 31st. Fire. Yep, this is the last drawing. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video. And if you enjoy this kind of content, please consider subscribing or liking the video so that I know that you guys want to see more of this kind of stuff. And if you don't, that's fine too. But yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Ciao!